and welcome to Chief Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today I wanna to talk to you about something that you've probably seen in our publications already, but you might wanna think about as a gift for yourself or maybe somebody else. This is the Cutalola dot pen. And what it is, is it's a drawing pen that's designed for work with stippling. And if you've ever done stipple work before, you know that it's time intensive and it takes a, a lot of dedication and patience and stuff like this. Well, this little puppy is designed to help take some of the time constraint out of uh, doing stipple. So what is this? Well, this is um, a battery powered stipple pen that actually has two uh, speeds. Um, it has a little toggle switch here and then it has a USB port here in the back so you can charge it up. Now when you get them, they're already charged up and raring to go. But the cool part is that this has a gel ink inside so it keeps it from bleeding and running and spattering and stuff like that and it's it works well with the fact that this thing is like a robotic like da -da -da -da, like a like a tattoo pen okay so when you turn it on you can see that it's like does its little thing and all that kind of stuff. It does have two speeds. It has high and low and you can toggle in between them. It does come with a little charger uh, that's in here and it does come with gel ink refill. So you are good to go for quite a, a lot of real estate. I can tell you that when I first tried this, um, I do do stipple on occasion and I really, really like it. You know, I'm a drawing nerd. Uh, and But I found it to be a little bit like frenetic uh, is what I would say, especially on the high speed. Um, if you're familiar with stipple at all, you'll know that some drawing nerds, um, they are very precise about how they want their dot quality to be. So you don't want little flick marks that makes your dots look like commas or apostrophes. You want them to look like very precise dots. And when this thing's rocking and rolling, it's, it's a little hard to actually get the feel so that's not happening. And I also kind of felt like I was like, you know, like, you know, all over the place, tr trying to control it without getting that patterning that you would get from it kind of rocketing through a dot pattern. Um, I found it to be much easier to use for me on the slower setting. Um, and I can tell you that the gel ink is compatible and blends well with other, you know, uh, static pens. So like, you know, Pigma Micron and, um, and others, it works wonderfully. Um, so there's no, you don't pick up the difference between one ink and the, the other if you want to change back and forth. And this is absolutely ideal when you have large passes, passages that have to have a lot of dot coverage. So when you're trying to get those deep blacks, this is perfect for kind of covering a lot of real estate in a short amount of time. So if you have somebody who's um, a drawing aficionado, this is a quite the little handy thing. So check it out. Um, it's a lot of fun. It takes a little, a little test driving to get used to it, but you will find that this is quite a little time saver and a heck of a lot of fun. So enjoy. Mm -hmm. 